By now, the entire world has heard the news. A gunman made an attempt on Donald Trump's life and failed. If Trump didn't survive, we'd be watching America go to war right now. The events of January 6 would look like a church picnic by comparison. But Trump not only survived, he made a point of raising his fists in defiance. And as a result, we've got this picture. This picture alone truly does speak a thousand words. When I look at it, it tells me who just won the election. No need to wait for November anymore. The Democrats can forget about replacing Joe Biden. They could run Oprah Winfrey and still get buried at the ballot box. Do you have any idea what effect this will have on public opinion? Let me explain it to you this way. If you're watching this video right now, it's 90% likely you're a conservative voter or, at the very least, center-right. That's who watches this channel. You already know where you stand politically, and you're already 100% set on who it is you're voting for. Chances are also likely that your social circle is largely the same way, which will eventually lead you to believe everyone is as politically aware as you are. But that's not how the general electorate works. The expression silent majority, it was coined for a reason, because it's true and 100% accurate. Social media might give you the illusion like the world is divided by left and right, when in reality, the majority is planted firmly in the middle, where it pretty much shifts with the tides. And I can tell you that, after watching Donald Trump get shot while campaigning, that tide will shift firmly in his favor. Even if that silent majority doesn't like Trump and sees him as an arrogant, rude blowhard, his being shot negates all that. The instinct of empathy takes over. If the same thing were to happen to Justin Trudeau right now, that 20-point lead the conservatives have in the polls would vanish. That's just how the empathy factor works. Regardless of how you might feel about Trump, you have to hand it to him for having his wits about him enough to raise his fist in defiance. That single act will change everything, and not just for this election. You know how we see every leftist hippie out there wearing t-shirts with Che Guevara on them to advertise their leftist credentials? Well, that Trump fist pump? That's the right's new equivalent of the Che Guevara t-shirt. Now, how will this affect Canada, you might ask? Well, listen closely, because this does involve you. The left has demonstrated on several occasions they believe violence is a means to an end. Those free Palestine gatherings you've been seeing lately are going to be a lot tamer. They're also likely to get busted up very quickly the moment someone gets just a little bit disorderly. Just in case you don't remember the aftermath of the 9-11 attacks, we're essentially going into walking on eggshells mode now, and anyone giving off the wrong vibes will be viewed with extreme suspicion. And that right there is your cue. Our calls for attention to the left's aggression have long fallen on deaf ears with authorities simply shrugging us off as being partisan. The looming threat of violence, however, changes all that. Religious groups that tie violence to their belief systems and causes will now find themselves under deserved scrutiny once again. Do you suspect a free Palestine protest is about to erupt in violence? Call and report it. If you see leftists saying anything on social media that sounds even remotely threatening to Pierre Polyev, or any nation's party leaders for that matter, regardless of which group they belong to, report it. And don't just stop there. Be sure to call them out on social media, too. Let them know how their joy at watching a political leader get shot is taken as a signal, a very serious and dire signal. If killing political leaders we disagree with is what we descend into, we're done regardless of your political position. We have to make sure no one crosses that line which can take our country from civil and prosperous to a third world hellhole governed by medieval zealots. Thank you very much for watching and please consider subscribing if you haven't done so already.